After you knit the first row, you don't need to worry about the latches when they're in working position. If the carriage jams, it usually means there is a needle out of line. Your needles need to stay in the working or forward working positions. They don't have to be in perfect alignment, but they can't be in between positions. If the carriage jams at the beginning of the row, be sure the green stripper plates on the underside of the carriage run just below the needles. The green stripper plate is supposed to slightly raise the needles as the ultimate sweater machine knits. If the carriage jams after a few stitches, check to be sure the yarn hasn't wrapped around one of the stripper plates on the underside of the carriage. Release the yarn from around the plate, pull up the yarn, and continue to knit the row. To prevent this from happening in the future, be sure to hold the yarn at the beginning of the row until you see the first needle begin knitting the yarn. If the carriage jams in the middle of the row, you can also pull down gently on your knitting, which will often free the needles. By jiggling the carriage, you should be able to release the jam as well. Make sure the weighted hem is hanging freely. Don't let your knitting rest or hit your knees. It is better to move your knees than to push the hem behind them, since this can move the needles into a position for creating an occasional jam or cause stitches to drop. Stop every couple rows to pull out several lengths of yarn to keep it free flowing. Even a little tension in the yarn can cause the carriage to feel stuck. And make sure that you've not held the yarn or created any added tension to the yarn as you've knitted the last row. It's important to always hold a slack yarn at the start of every row and to let go of it as you knit that row.